Alright, so this video we're going to look at finding the mean or expected value of a discrete probability distribution. Alright, so here's the formula for the mean. It's the sum of x times p of x. Okay, p of x is the probability. Alright, so let's look at the, let's look at a example. All right, so here we have a discrete probability distribution. We have our x values. They represent something, you know, whatever the problem is based on. Uh, you'll have your x values, and this is the probabilities. Now, remember, in order for this to be a probability distribution, that each, all of these probabilities, they have to sum to 1. So when you add all of these up, all of these probabilities up, they have to equal one, and you can you can try it. Uh, all these add up to one. All right, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and find it. Remember the mean. The mean. Well, let me write it down here. The mean is equal to the sum of x times p of x. Okay, So, I mean, the, the easiest thing to do is just to create another column here. Okay, It's not very straight, but it'll do. And we'll have a column that's x times p of x. So what we're doing is we're just multiplying x times p of x. So 0 times 0 0.0625, that will give us 0. 1 times 0 0.25 will give us 0 0.25. And then 2 times 0 0.375 will give us 0 0.75. And then 3 times 0 0.25 will give us 0 0.75. And 4 times 0 0.0625 will give us 0 0.25. So all I did is I multiplied the x times p of x okay, for each one. And now we just sum this column up. We just add it up. So when we sum this column up, we get 2 as an answer. So we can say that the mean of this probability distribution is 2. And this is your answer. All right, so I hope this helped. This was a short video. Uh, I'll have a video on standard deviation also. Uh, you can check that out. So give me a like, share, comment, and check out my other videos. And thanks for watching.